I'm Max Sterling, welcome to LARPgasm. When I started this channel two years ago, I had hoped that it would do well, but considering how fast it's grown, I am so happy uh, that you guys enjoy what I'm doing. Because really it's you, the viewers, that make these channels possible. And I'm so glad that you find it worthy to subscribe to and come back every week and check out the videos that I post. As far as these videos, I view the recaps as really being for the true fans uh, because they get less views. But this video, I think, is important because it's really the only time that I talk to you and uh, sort of explain to you, you know, what happened the previous year and why and where we're going uh, in the new year. If you follow me on social media, which there's links below, you know, I do shout out some stuff on there occasionally. But as far as on the channel, you know, there's not really a lot of back and forth input, and I really like to make these videos for you guys to watch. As far as 2018, you know, we had a lot of great reviews. I had uh, Mitral, Kalamasil, Gargoyle Forge, Mythic Mint, and Rare Elements Foundry all send me some stuff to look at. And when I do reviews, I really only try to pick sort of what I think are the best people out there in the field that are making these items. And, uh, I don't like to review a lot of garbage basically as I don't like to waste your time or my time. So when you see a review on my channel, it's going to be positive, uh, but I'm still going to you know, give it a critical eye in case I do see something that I think could be improved upon. But really when you click on one of my reviews, expect it to be positive and just really get a good look at what some of these things uh, are and maybe some companies you haven't heard of. And that's really sort of the point of those. But I thank anyone that sent me anything to review in 2018 and 2019. I hope to continue that on and review a bunch more stuff. Now, if you're someone who does make stuff and you'd like for me to take a look at it, feel free. Uh, the email address is below. You know, just hit me up on social media or something and let me know that you have something you want to send me. I'd be more than happy to take a look at it, review it, use it. Uh, whatever uh, you want to do with it. But just go ahead and feel free to hit me up. I'm always interested in looking at new products and reviewing uh, existing products as well. In 2018, we did a lot of collaborations. Uh, we had makers challenges going on earlier in the year, which I thought were a lot of fun. We were getting some people involved, but unfortunately, they sort of just went by the wayside. Uh, some of the folks that participated in those, you know, just sort of stopped making videos and, uh, you know, it's, it's the nature of the thing, but I did enjoy those uh, collaboration videos, and they're all on a playlist on my channel. And then later in the year, uh, did some collaboration work on some Halloween stories, and uh, that's also on a playlist on my channel. A bunch of us uh, YouTubers got together and did some Halloween stories, and it's all LARPers uh, doing LARP-related stuff, so it's pretty cool if you didn't get a chance to check those out. Uh, there's a playlist with everybody who participated. And, you know, I may have popped up in a few other people's videos here and there throughout the year uh, doing a little uh, guest appearance. And if I did, you know, they're all in the collaboration list as well. And uh, in 2019, I hope to do a lot more collaborations. I'd like to start collaborations with some other people, but, um, you know, it's tough to reach. Uh, some of the really busy folks, but I'm gonna try to uh, make some stuff happen because I think that it's uh, really fun to do I think it's probably fun for you uh, folks to watch uh, your favorite youtubers doing stuff together as well So we're gonna try to make that happen as far as uh, 2018 um, You know We uh, had some stuff that we didn't do um you know, there was no hot chip video this year. Unfortunately, the company that makes those hot uh, chips out of the uh, Reaper peppers, they just they didn't make them this year. Um, I even wrote to the company, and uh, for whatever reason, they decided not to make them. I guess, like, they don't like money. I, I don't understand why they didn't make them. It was a very odd move to me because it seemed like that little chip challenge they did was really sort of growing in momentum and then they just abandoned it. So I'm not sure what the deal was there. Unless maybe someone, uh, something bad happened, someone sued them over it. Uh, you know, I really don't know because those chips were very hot. But uh, I would have loved to have done that for you. But if you were looking for that video this year, just didn't happen. If the company makes them again, I'll do the challenge again, get some other people in on it. But uh, yeah, it just didn't happen this year. Um, as far as... Uh, you know, random uploads from my other channel. Like I said, it's a one-time thing. You know, they just had to come over. Uh, as far as 2018, I don't really know uh, a whole lot else happened. You know, it was the same stuff as usual on the channel. 
you know, do-it-yourself projects, some food challenges here and there, and uh, really just having a lot of fun. And I plan to do the same thing in 2019. We're going to keep doing the food challenges, and we'll try to get some more of uh, those ASMR videos up. And I'm going to try really hard to get some game footage. For some reason, in my area, the games are so shy. Uh, they do not allow still photos they do not allow video now some people still do snap some photos here and there but really that's more or less just share between individuals on Facebook or something but for me to post a video it just it wouldn't happen it would get pulled down so I'm gonna try to work with some of those creators to get some good video footage And if you are a game owner or a creator out there and you live anywhere near me which is Pennsylvania uh, US you know, let me know if you got something going on you wouldn't mind me videotaping at. Um, I can do it very uh, discreetly so that no one knows what's going on and uh, you know, we can keep it fully immersed. I would love to get some game footage uh, for this channel, but like I said, of the uh, four or five games I've been to around here, they're just not having it. <laughs> now last year I did go to two games I hadn't been to before, but unfortunately I didn't really get to talk to the people that run them that much. Uh, but I'm looking forward to maybe speaking to them and getting some footage because I know a lot of uh, you have asked for game footage on this channel and I'm really trying to get it. It's just, uh, it's difficult. I'm not going to lie. It's difficult, especially in the U.S. to uh, to get that with laws and stuff. And uh, a lot of these clubs, they just don't want to be bothered uh, with possible legalities of it. So, but I'm going to see what I can do for you. <laughs> as far as uh, the channel, uh, you know, most of my videos cover American style LARPing. I mean, 74% of my viewership is United States, and uh, most of the people that watch this are male. I have 84% uh, uh, male viewership, male. YouTube has two options, male or female. So according to their statistics, uh, it's 84% male. So I'm mostly speaking to American Boffer LARP guys. And uh, that's sort of what the videos tailor themselves towards. Uh, but I hope that anyone can find relevance in a lot of the projects that happen on here. But when you see me making boffer weapons and stuff, there's a reason I'm not latexing them and doing a lot of the uh, more advanced techniques. It's just because the games that uh, are here, they don't require it. And a lot of games are just now waking up to latex weapons. Uh, they had... Uh, a stigma for a long time and people were only using the uh, pull tape or pull noodle and uh, duct tape style weapons and uh, it was for a safety standpoint it's just those big bulbous weapons you know it's a lot harder to hurt someone with that than say hitting them with a uh, you know pretty solid or hard latex style weapon so as games continue to wake up to this and realize that those weapons are actually produced to be very safe and probably possibly even safer than the boffers they were using and as insurance companies and stuff start getting a little bit more lenient on their policies you'll start to see a lot more of those latex weapons and as a result I'm going to start making some videos on producing weapons like that as well uh, for one of those makers challenges I made you know essentially you know, a latex weapon. It was foam and plastic dip. Uh, but, you know, I thought it came out very well, but that was sort of something I just slapped together. And if you watch the video, I actually ended up running it over with my car by accident. So uh, the end result wasn't 100% what it should have been, but I thought it came out pretty good. So I'm going to do some videos on that for you as well. Don't want to ramble on too much here, but just to say, you know, I do appreciate you watching the videos and really the most important thing you can do for me is not to go on Patreon or something, okay? Because the money is nice and it is helpful, but I would much rather you share my video. What helps me more than giving me a dollar is if you see something get posted in Reddit or you're in a forum somewhere or on Facebook somewhere or in your game group somewhere, if you're even at a game and it's a out of game conversation for some reason, drop the name of my channel post a link to one of my videos um, you know share my stuff on Twitter or Instagram get my name out there get my channel out there and get people watching my content to me that is far more important uh, than throwing me a few dollars now that being said I do always have the Ko-Fi option available and there is of course the patreon option and you know 
feel free to uh, do those. If you watch a video and you find that it is really helpful for you, then I mean the Ko-Fi thing is a one-time deal. You sign up, you make just you know one basically donation or a tip, whatever you want to call it, and that's it. Uh, the patron thing, I mean, if you want to sign up a dollar a month and you know do it for a couple months and then cancel it, that's fine. You know, all of that type of stuff is appreciated because it helps me to buy cool props, it helps me buy stuff to make these videos, and just you know keep things running. So it is helpful, but sharing my message and my channel is much more important to me and if you're watching this video for the first time and you haven't already you know click that subscribe button the bell button click that like button and uh, just click everything and be sure to comment underneath the video now uh, one last thing I do want to touch on is that I had mentioned on uh, Instagram and my YouTube channel about maybe changing the name of my channel or uh, changing you know how often I post and for the most part you know everyone just was essentially said you know keep the name and you know just sort of do whatever you want as far as the posting frequency well I think I'm just gonna keep it weekly uh, going into 2019 I really like recording the videos and I have you know, just tons of ideas still so we'll keep doing it weekly as long as we can and as far as changing the name of the channel you know when the channel was launched it was meant to be irreverent it was meant to be shocking it was meant to be fresh uh, and really sort of you know go places other channels didn't and I feel as though the channel still does that and as far as the name you know it's really just a play on words I find it humorous I think most people do uh, but if anyone is offended by that or off put by it you know I sincerely apologize of course you know this channel was never meant uh, to exclude anyone and I feel bad if people don't watch the channel based on the name uh, but you know Unfortunately, you can never please everybody, and it is what it is. If I could change the name to something different at this juncture, I probably would, to be honest. Unfortunately, once you're established in YouTube, it's not as easy as just changing you know, a word on a screen. It's a lot more complicated than that. So it's LARPgasm now, LARPgasm forever. And as far as the swearing on my videos, well, you know, sometimes, you know, I swear. And that's, you know, just reality. It is what it is. I understand that the people that are concerned about swearing is because they want younger kids, younger players to watch the videos, but you know what? You know, it, it is what it is. Um, my post-apocalyptic videos, because of the genre, there is swearing in them, and a lot of my videos are clean, so if you pick through them, you know, there's a lot of clean videos. Maybe I'll try to make a playlist that has just the uh, sort of radio edit versions of my videos in them, but, uh, you know, there's going to be swearing in my fucking videos sometimes, and, you know, that's life. Uh, if there's kids watching it, I mean, just monitor what they're viewing. And when I make that clean playlist, you can feel free to let them look at that because there won't be any swearing in those videos. And I, it's the best thing I can do, I think, to sort of help out uh, and overcome a little bit of that. But like I said, most of this stuff doesn't seem to be a concern for uh, the bulk of you, so I just thought I'd address it real quick. Uh, please. You know, feel free to uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video, subscribe, click the bell, comment, and of course, as always, adventure on.